Yeah. And also, true. also as as an actor, I, I have to say, since I, I have, I have, I have, <laughs> I have, I agree with you one hundred percent. We need to. I feel like sometimes as actors, again, this is just from what I've noticed for the little bit that I've you know sort of been in the industry. Sometimes as actors, we can. We, yes, we we are important. Sometimes we demand too much to be important, mm. to a point where we forget. You are just a part of a structure to make or to go and achieve a common goal. Mm. There's, 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 and I, this is recently from what I'm currently shooting now, where I noticed that oh, you know what? Sometimes as actors, we we can complain so much. Whereas you as an actor, you are there for maybe, let's say if you're there to shoot four or five scenes or maybe just a little bit more, you'll probably shoot however many scenes from Monday. And then, okay, let's say they're shooting from Monday to Saturday or Monday to to Friday. Within, let's say if it's to Friday, with that five days, you're probably going to get a two-day day off. Sometimes it's longer depending what your call is like. Mm. But you will complain about how tired you are. Crew is there yeah. every day. They're the first people to arrive. They're the last people to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They and mind you, you get probably breaks in between the scenes to go chill in your green room, rest, go through your lines. If you're going through a lines, crew yeah. is standing the whole the damn whole day, day. Yeah. every day. But, For sure. You know. So I, I feel like sometimes I just needed I just needed to say to send a shout out to crew wherever you know, a yeah. lot of respects needs to go yeah, to to, to, to <laughs> yeah, right. they also, they not in front of the screen they behind the scenes but a whole lot of work goes <laughs> behind there and I feel like most of the time as actors we don't really acknowledge the crew. them too much because we we think the focus should be on us most of the time I don't know you know I wanted to kind of like uh, go back to to the point that you made is pay for producers. Producers, guys, they can fuck up the whole shit. Like, literally, if you get... <laughs> I mean, like, being a producer, it's, it's not about being able to finance the film. Mm -hmm. You can finance the film at a budget of 12 million, but the end, like you said, you can bullshit the whole process until it you gets get. to post-production. Don't do that, Chef. Wanna, As a producer, a producer, don't do that. So, so, I want to be a producer. So what, no, but what I want to say is... um. You know, it's important, like, like, um, as a producer, to be able to be aware of all these things. That's why, for you to be a producer, you must have been a DOP perhaps before, or you know about cinematography, you know about art department, so that if a, if a lighting guy comes to you tomorrow and then they say, uh, this lighting is gonna cost me twenty five thousand, you say, no, that's a lie. I know, but now it's supposed to cost you five thousand. You know, mm. so that you don't end up like overspending the mm. budget. I, I, I actually want to take it even further. I think you need to know about makeup. You need to know about production design. You need to know that, oh, this look is going to take two hours, yep, isn't it? Exactly. So now, is my AD scheduling two hours for this look? You know? Mm. And also, <laughs> if True. you don't know about the film industry and you're a producer, Otembela, that's not really a good DOP, is going to come to you tomorrow. And then, Bachi, I want to use this camera that costs 25000 a day. But, you know, they can't even use the camera, mm. you know. Um, and you have this guy that hired a 25,000 rands camera per day. They can't even use it. When you get to post, it didn't even do its job on, 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 on set, you know. Well, why was it there? Why, well, why was it there? It was just expensive for no reason. Leave that aside. If you are a naive producer, you can get milked clean by directors. Some guy can come fresh out of film school. They can speak with this nice white accent. Yeah. And they can come up to you. <laughs> and yeah. then you're going to think that, oh, wow, this guy knows everything because yeah. he's talking to you about Christopher Nolan and he's telling you about his narrative concepts. And like what ends up happening is that that guy will be like, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. What we need to do is we need to do a workshop first. So I think we'll set up a workshop and pay me 30,000 Rand. And then what we're going to do is from that workshop, we'll be able to create a system. With that system, I know it'll just be 50,000 Rand for me to create that system. And then eventually I'll get you a script. And then they'll charge you for every single draft of the script. Yeah. Now, there's due to a literally, they're like 600,000 Rand in. 
Mm. And they don't have a final draft of a script. Mm. And then by the time they get their final draft of a script, it's a piece of shit that isn't going to get financed by anyone. Yep. Mm. So you send that to NFVF and everybody else and they and look they at it and they laugh at it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and, that's and true. what can you say? Because uh, being a director, it's like being an economist. I just predicted, I thought this was going to be dope. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm. I... <laughs> <laughs> you need a producer. Hey, you need a producer that's going to say, that's bullshit because I've been around. And I know that's I know not ABC. possible, you know? So, yeah. I also, mean, also from, like, everything that we've sort of spoken about now or covered, I don't know if you... Do you guys watch Scandal? A little bit. Not really. I feel like, man, it's, it's, it's still the only South African soapy or whatever that I, I still do watch. Mm. If, you, if, you, if you look at Scandal even now, it's, it's, it's not about the look. Mm. You you look at the characters on Scandal. You can go to Scandal and you'll find a chubby guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? It's authentic. It's authentic. Yeah. Those are the, the day-to-day people we meet. on a, I, I don't know. Yeah. Scandal has yeah. nothing to prove. Yeah, bro? Yeah. So know. it's not a matter of because of aesthetics. Or I now feel to expect because of sneaky views. No. They understand, what, okay, this is where we are as... A production sure. we've been here for so long we have our loyal viewers yeah. and all we need to do is just stick to what we know what we, know, what yeah. we have but also let's just make sure we give them good content sure. script wise i personally I, i'm still here to see a production that delivers like like they do when it comes in when it comes to a storyline yeah mm. they never miss sure what do you it's, guys it's a dream of mine to actually be on a show on sure. it's always been bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been yeah so i want to ask you guys <laughs> like um like starting from us pay like do you guys have like the best of all time television television series or the best movie you've seen in in, in south africa okay hmm. <clears throat> Please repeat. I didn't get that. Um, the best television series or telenovela of all time or a movie in SA. In SA. Yeah. yeah. I think my favorite series it would probably be Intersections or that time that SABC One did adaptations of Shakespearean oh, um, yeah. stuff but then put it into South African content. Yeah. I thought that I was know. really dope. Yeah. Um, just in terms of like authenticity and then craft and then the actors that they used and it just being riveting. Mm -hmm. Uh, And also for me, I believe that the best television and movies are timeless. I don't want to watch a piece that's only going to be good because it's in this era now. Mm -hmm. Like my favorite things are like Sopranos, Breaking Bad, like you say, Oz, um, The Wire, because Mm -hmm. they're timeless. Um, So with Intersections, it was like, it was important at the time because of the growth of the HIV virus. Yes, yes. But then it taught people so much about us as a culture mm. and the way in which we interact with each other mm. that it became a timeless narrative. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that, that's my one. Actually, Intersections is um, the person that created Intersections. Do you know him? Jose Ningos? Uh, I don't know him personally. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right. Soul City? Uh, do you the, remember Soul City? Yeah, we're going to get to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I can't think of any. For, okay. Like and Shogun Yamgogo, but I mean I've watched some stuff and. What's that? <laughs> 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 the don't I wait. No, 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 no. I, I, I won't lie. Um, won't seven's a corner, but there are holes in the show. You understand? Oh, okay. There are holes, and don't I'm. Don't a hole. No. <laughs> oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I save it to my editor. Please, now. I save you. He's come back to work, like yeah, mom. <laughs> I saw you, I saw you, cool, you yeah. said you said this and this. No, but, 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 but look, look at this, Vid. I mean, if if I was to get fired for that, then I don't know. Uh, uh, so cool, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> but my man. <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man. My yeah, 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 yeah. man, my man, my We need to be honest about our work. Ne? We need to be honest about our work. I feel like, I feel like we, we have the views, Guzalo, I understand. But there's a lot of work that we can still do as actors 
the writing everywhere because i work there you understand i understand every challenge that goes in there you understand mm. so i think there's still a lot that can be done on uzalo's concept i think the concept there is very dope because in dua say because in dua say cars hence why it's watched gangak i'm not digging myself and a whole chance i'll come and grab a And I come under my feet on Uzalo. We understand. This is I at mean, the end of the podcast, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, but gents, am I saying anything wrong with? I mean, like in Sabenza Pai, I know, you know, like you're saying, I come under my feet. For example, the storyline. I'll speak about my storyline. Some no mamala. Those kind of things happen. You understand, yeah, but they are not spoken about. And Uzalo does bring that. Yeah. We understand. So that's what I'm saying. With yes, people can bash it and say it's a bad show. Da 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 da. But I feel like there is something there, and it can be, you know, it can, grow. It can, be it can grow because those are the sisters. Mm. There's still more things that we can do, and what I would still love to see on the show it's guys that dress up like guamash. You know, a guy who's so guamash. You know, umbola nge vesti is a show to opak abakona. How they walk, how they speak. So I still feel like those are the kind of things that I'm talking about that I feel like they can still be added on the show more, and more and more. Yeah, sure. Eh yeah, ngike ngabo ke izinto like kuma uh, channel zethu kuninge ngikuthandile kuninge ngakuthanda ka but there's this one film eyabuke kai appealing me na it was The Forgotten Kingdom Yeah it's South African it's the Lesotho South African film kukhona uze yes it's The Forgotten Kingdom kukhona uze nzongqobe khona like it's it's a beautiful story uh, it's a film ngathi uh, ndafuthi there's this series of short films or kwakuthiwa emoyeni by u producer kona ukuthi uze sithi she was i love that series ukuba she is good yeah she is ukubuye le muva mina ngithanda suspense bafu yithu ngithanda ngithanda in the thrilling ngithanda in the ezokwenza ukuthi uqabange ubona i loved and i loved this into ezinja ezinje ngabo ubizo we don't see yes we don't see a lot of horror uh, suspense or thrilling yes a cyborg yeah yeah but it's for fuck's sake yeah in terms of in terms of ama genres a2 kumele ukuthi si expand singabuki the the usual telenovelas a drama in the story structures nje ngobubuka dusho Uh, in God in God business in Kyle Rich and so we need to expand kuna ma genres in general magical realism we need to explore lesos de kanjalo we need to we need to go into this in a horror so so basically 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 what Monja Love is doing but make it make it make it sophisticated way yeah better quality sure yeah boy you're going to be quality but Monja Love is doing that they telling South African stories man just quick interjection just saying Can I ask a question? Why is there no colored TV shows? 17. Why are there no colored narratives? Why are we True. not why no, is there no series there's, there's about been, bro. Mitchell's play? And, there's been like, and I know about cuz I'm from the Eastern Cape man. Was yeah. it by? <clears throat> and uh so where I grew up in PE in Ken Kulin Dzalelokshin was a kele in PE in Kulelokon. And then we moved to sort of um an area where there was or there is colors it's like a, a northern areas and i went to sort of a school that was in a northern areas which is the katanga mm-hmm. if anyone has ever been to be they'll know katanga changshin and so um so your question when it comes to color but have you seen four corners yeah i've seen it four corners, seen four right, corners. Four corners. it's literally based sorry it's it's literally based of the colored community yeah, within a, the four corners it is on netflix, is it? It's on netflix. netflix. yeah i think it's on okay, netflix four corners that. four corners watch that thing yes the picture wise the quality is not 100% because you should do it you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's not the one about the school kids right no nah, it's it's literally about the the numbers Gang, gangs Gang. and oh, drugs okay. and territories and all of that well, right which right. is a common thing even to even till this day you go to you go to you go to the cape flats mm. you can't be from a different section and just wambe uyenga because uzawuthusa ngizikhe maybe we what kind with you 
Oh, I can't even do that. But two days, yo. That's a number of eyes, the axis. Yeah, bro. That's true, bro. We need those stories, yeah? Those stories are there. And so, which is what he asked, okay, who is representing the colored community? I and mean, speaking those colored stories. It yeah. could also be because they are the minority. That's another In everything. That's do you, another do you thing, think bro. they're the minority yeah. in South Africa? Do you think there's less colored people than white people and Indian people and Asian people? No, Not I, that, but they, in, they don't. In, they, 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 they are. Personal again, I love colored people now, but I just feel like. This Tosok Twan. No, they were actually I, I, I in the forgotten children. I feel like I, I went to the union buildings. I come and see the Those guys, they're actually saying we are not coloreds. We are koisans. Yeah. We Abanagwa. speak the 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 we, we, this nama nama language something, but it's it's actually on the coat of arm. That's how they speak. In Parliament, in Parliament, how many in Parliament? How many how many colored people do you see in Parliament? Uh, I, no, but the in, thing in is, high positions, how many colored people do you see? What I'm saying is, they are the minority in terms of like um, content context. Um, who's going to watch it? Um, if, you look, if, if, if you look, nah, wait, wait, that's if you, if you look on TV though, look at the language that's utilized the most. Zulu, Zulu, because. Zulu is a language that that is commonly spoken in the country. But what is the most watched film content in South Africa? It's Afrikaans. Exactly. What language do colored people speak? Afrikaans, Afrikaans and English. But also those wait wait, I get it. It's the language, <laughs> but the race is different. So the the reason why um those movies um, those movies are watched because Afrikaans people have money. So they can pay for cinema. They have culture for cinema. That's the reason why those movies are the most watched. But now mm. if you take a, um, a colored race and then you put it on cinema, who's going to go there? Be honest. Okay, even at in, in every, in every, in every, let's look at. People if, don't if, even if, go for Zulus. If, if, if we're to put top 10 telenovelas or soapies that are watched in South Africa. Mm. They are How many colors are there in terms of the characters? <sighs> Very few. How many? Very, very few. Very few. Uh, in in uh, also just great colored performers outside of comedy. There's a, there's they, they are. I feel like they are colored performers. It's just that. Yeah. But, but it, it, I like guess the industry is not like, that open. Yeah, you don't have for, it like don't have people for where them. it's like wow, everybody knows you that. You can't just think about it who's, like that. Right now, if government depends. Well, what is it? It's NC. Who's the, who's the NC gonna look? After more, sure. of course. I mean, or darky, or yeah. it's black colors. I think They're it's definitely more a problem. Do you get yeah. it? It is an issue. Yeah, and then when, is. when we actually speak the truth and think about it, it's like, yo, who I, actually is looking after the colored people? What I also Nobody. shout out to Youngster though. Youngster yeah, CPT for standing Everybody's up. Everybody's just scared of colored so people. He's, sta he's standing up for his people. There's just a lot of there's a massive, massive, massive amount of like um propaganda that creates fear against colored people yeah, so that's that's where black people are scared of colored people white people are scared of colored people because everybody's scared of colored people it's but when you live people. with them it's not it's not like that because like i said i live in a, in a community where there's colored people and black people they and we're gonna tell each other shit right then and there and if they also feel like like say brah you know for me if you tell me if you start anything you know what they fuck off yeah it's that but we, we we can learn to coexist with each other in a, in, in a way one of and my yeah yeah i'm an east hey bro. i don't know i just wonder i feel like the media has painted the colored man to be the most violent man and the colored yeah. woman to be the most aggressive, aggressive masculine yes. woman yeah i would really love like to see colored people represented in a very positive manner instead of the stereotypical one because there's a there's a lot of beauty within colored culture and there's a lot of authentic mm. history, um, but everybody just views it as masculinity, mm. as violence, mm. as aggression, and it's like like prison exactly yeah. yeah prison you think of women shouting stabbing, at you yeah, like stabbing. think of stabbing colored women are crazy exactly like all of color. those stereotypes you know and stuff. if you if you if if you whether you are a white guy or, or black guy, mm. you 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 know that narrative with what you're dating a colored woman. I'm like, whoa, hey, it's gonna stop you. But you know, one of my favorite. Like it's not that, bro. 
One of my favorite telenovelas of all time or TV dramas in in SA is Umzwezi mm. Um mm. I think it was one of the best. The reason yeah. why is because that was like um almost like post apartheid and there was like a a specific representation of each tribe um coexisting with each other mm. yeah. in hostels so in the city, so you know yeah and and what i like mm. what i liked about it is it was humor but in a way that's relatable umzagelo and also stereotypes like people hate stereotypes but sometimes stereotypes are true mm. and you know they can be embraced if ujongo chawe there's a stereotype that cause guys but tumbana basmart they want to be the, the smartest guy in the room mm. chawe was that guy yeah. oh, as far as i'm concerned you know umakubane yeah. nomkhize they always wanted to fight somebody because <laughs> zulu zulu people are like <laughs> that. i mean there's a lot of truth it, 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 it can truth. be a joke but, there's but in that in joke there's, there's some, some truth in I know that joke. A lot and we of should it. be allowed to laugh at it but this new pc culture that yeah. we're in we can't you, n- nah, not now nah, bro nah. No, I don't think Umzo and Sizo would do. We are so. I mean, like, I mean, I'm mean just like. It saying, still plays today. You go on SABC one during weekdays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember we used to make it a joke as oh, with oh, shout out Tim Gossi. Tim, it was a thing before, obviously, <coughs> while we're still doing auditions, trying to get into the industry to a ha ufundile ukatile. <laughs> so if they had put a colored community in that context, I think it would have worked. Colored people coexisting with the Zulu guy, Soto guy, it's on a guy, mm. Mm. Shang- mm. guy. Mm. you know what I mean? Cultures. It would have been dope. But yeah. you know, like hence you guys said colored Do people you know are what I think it might be as well. Yeah. I think the representation of colored people that people think colored people are is not what colored people are. I'll people think not, that colored I've people are half black, half there, white. Yeah. Mm, Do you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Whereas people. in essence, when you are a colored person, you have a separate culture, you have a separate identity, you have a separate uh, notion to self. It is not you just being half white, half black. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I know that that creates a lot of uh, confusion and frustration for a lot of colored kids growing up. And I feel like we haven't tried to showcase that culture authentically on our screens and showcase the nuances of that culture. Because there's things that people don't realize, like not all colored people are Christian, a lot of colored people are Muslim. Muslim. Mm. And subsequently, because a lot of those colored people are Muslim, a lot of the foods that they eat are very like Indian or Middle Eastern inspired, Mm -hmm. all right? So then the culture and the way in which they live as well is is very Middle Eastern inspired as well. So it's it's like there's so many things but then that, that's that, that Middle Eastern inspired way of living. So we're thinking modesty, all right? We're thinking um, patriarchal households. We're thinking of um, households where you stick together as a family. That is the opposite of the notion that is taught to us. Mm. We think of the colored man going off to his gang and leaving his wife and kids um, at home alone. We think of colored kids having to walk home alone and not having a religion. Like, do you know what I'm saying? We we have a representation of colored people that is very, very, very uninformed. And it is incredibly stereotyped, but no one is checking like each other about it mm. because they are the forgotten people of our country, if that makes sense. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to just slightly avoid what you said there. Um, there's a bit of, I can just slightly argue with your point there because, in Give a way, like. Mic. Point the mic at him? Yeah. Because essentially, like, what you're saying, I do agree with, with the whole stereotypical. Like, we all assume colored people are, they're scary or they're dangerous. And a lot of it, I think, comes from, like, we all similar ages and we all grew up, we all watched Trevor Noah, Daywalker, you know, all those funny yeah. skits. Sure. And I remember. That's where all the stereotypes came from. Oh, colored people are dangerous. Oh, you date a colored woman. Oh, she's going to stab you, you know? Uh, Stay calm, baby. But mm. then one point that you said there with the whole, they're not black, they're not black and white. They're their own, at this point, they're their own separate ways. Watching stuff like Daywalker and all that, I remember him making that joke of, you can't, you can't call someone overseas colored. You have to call them mixed race because yeah. they're black and white. But if you come back to South Africa and you call a colored person mixed race, you know, they'll swear you. 
and tune. Yeah, yeah. And I always yeah. remember, like, I laughed at that joke, but it also, it actually taught me in high school that, like, colored people are not black and white. Yeah. At this point, they're their own separate, like, they're their own race at this point. You yeah. know? They have their own culture. They have their own weird style of Afrikaans, you know? So, mm. I, I, mean, I think it's... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's, like, it's, it's a lot of stereotypical, and I think, I think you make a valid point in terms of we're just we're just accepting the stereotypes, you know. We're just like, oh, okay, these yeah. are stereotypes. We're moving yeah. on, but there's a 100%. lot. I think it's just there's a, it's a lot more complex, you know. What I mean, and we're just bro. running with those stereotypes, 100%, bro. And sure. also, and also, do you wanna go? No, 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 carry on, carry on. And also, with the stereotypes, I always don't mind stereotypes, but a lot of times, stereotypes that are directed to colored people have a negative connotation. Yeah. That's the only reason why I have a problem with them. I've never seen a stereotype that I can say I can embrace or make fun of in a positive light. So, I mean, I think um, if there's any colored people that are filmmakers, it's up to them to 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 tackle this issue by straight up. Yeah, by writing. We can't do it. We talk about it. I can't. <laughs> I, 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 it, I can't I'm speak on behalf of colored people. You know. Exactly, I, I, it's I, disingenuous. Yes, exactly. I think it's up to to them to take that responsibility. It's yeah, a color answer. Answer. yeah. Uh, an, 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 another thing I, I'd like to 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 point out about Sikuma uh, We are talking about the race thing. Mm. Yes, we are pointing out about Abantu Abama color. There there are some people who are Abantu Abako your same community. In the Gibo Nayo is when it's Pilagulo. There's too much segregation yeah. in this diverse or rainbow nation that we are in. So it doesn't go only in a virtue of a race. It goes to each gender. Mm. It goes to our communities. It goes to tribes. There's, there's tribalism. Okay. Like you go there's too much clashing. There's people who say that we should hate each other. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm Zulu. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah but because, so let's let colonize. Yeah. Let's was in the Ganjalu before you too. Let's cut in some man. You can't play Mugut, okay. We can't be Mlung, Owen Zuguti, Sisugan and Genatizen. Lendisala Nat. Okay. In terms of Abandu, Abamakalat, Gunani community, Noma, Ushang and Abandu, Chua, Sen or Koi people. Nanabo Bandu, we've never seen. God, God must be crazy. Remember that that film. You want to play ngang aibone? Yeah, it's representation. Yes, representation. Yabantu abama koyosen community. So yes, God must God must be crazy. Isn't that wasn't a good representation. He had like a, a a bottle in a plane. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, I hated that shit. Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> it was so offensive. I hated it. It was yeah, offensive yeah. in a way. God, yeah. yeah. yaza mukukvez ubako na banda banji abayistai. No, nangen kila bakvez anga yom klampi ngegasi zisiktan, but yakvez alo. So ngekabangu guti magu nga pela inda ba guti sichuan kakul. Lendo yo 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 sichuan a yezabando. Umuntu ushanga no ushanga luzo itwali representation ya yonge ilela efanele. Gugubant uguti baksukumele loko nga leo ilela leyo. Nuguti ke nati njengu baspila anji. Siye ke lendo leo yukbugela na pansez. Ama races, ama tribes. So since you're on the topic of representation, this is a question I actually want to ask you about. Okay. I want to talk about a movie. Now we're talking about representation, all right? We can finish where we're going. No, I know, I know, I know. But this is good, all right? So we're talking about representation, right? Sure. And often we are not represented. We are not represented by ourselves. We are appropriated. All right. Sure. Especially in African culture. I want to ask you about your opinion of a movie like Inge, mm. in which a white director appropriated a very, very, very sacred concept within African culture sure. and made millions off of the movie and created this massive global stir. And largely, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie, but I've watched it. Do you think it is an accurate representation of the actual ceremony, or do you think it's cheap appropriation? Okay. Okay. Oh, like, okay. Okay. Mina ngogo amukbona. Eh, angfunu ibu galendo stereotypically. Hmm. Even if Bengesi Umundo Omlung or director, no more work visa, 
asikubuke in terms of i filmmaking sikubuke in terms of storytelling singabantu lento esukuyenzeka ake ngithi lento yokuthandana abantu ngobulilo bobodwa the same gender abantu abasuke bethandana yenzeka yonke indawo yenzeka yonke indawo so kungani uma kungukuthi yavezwa angesho ukuthi ku writing ngile yavezwa nga but kungani ukuba inkinga uma kungukuthi kwavezwa this sacred ceremony or this sacred uh, initiation thing ehlonishwayo ngusiko lwakaxhosa wamahlubi what if leyo into ngempela yenzeka izinto ekanjalo ziyenzeka siyayifihla lezo zinto ukuthi zingavezwa si sibeka ngaphansi o sorry but what if those things because babe khona abantu abamagays and lesbians eskhathini ezidlule eminyakeni edlule be 14 asiphila kodwa bekufihlwa it was something efihliwe so angisho ukuthi amadoda noma abakhwetha abasuke bentabeni ngokosiko nakwaxhosa noma amahlubi eh basuke benza lokho mm-hmm. but what if into kanjani khona and indaba kube inkinga indaba iba inkinga uma kungukuthi iveze umlungu like ushakazulu lwe simbukile ushakazulu ushakazulu washuthwa belungu sam accept ushakazulu ekhulunya isilungu singahanda sibe but that's not sacred though those are two different things it is sacred nganje that is in because into khuluma nge culture yakho it's something it's spirituality it's sacred but the story of shago is something that is commonly known the story of what happens in the mountain is sacred it's meant to be yeah. a pact yeah so you know what like, i'm saying like to, to interject quickly ulwaluko na as a closer man you go to endaben what it's it's like we've all heard the the, the 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 quote or the saying that what happens in vegas stays in vegas right yeah. We all know that we've heard it, right? So it's 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 in a nutshell, it's the same thing. Mm. What happens in Dabin stays in Dabin. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So and uh, like Tosa people, Tina's, I'm a Tosa. We're very proud. We Tosa and Zulu are, are are not too far from each other. Extremely Those are, are, are proud people, and I feel like the reason why it maybe caused the stir that it did is because Tosa people felt like they were being put out there for the world to see whereas lendo indo esihloni phayo ezamaxhosa ezamahlubi as yabo you know es yabo it's 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 not supposed to be out there like hlangalala mm. you got what i mean mm. not that ukuthi they having i remember during my time during my camp time i called camp time mm. during my camp time the endaben they were gays oh they were gay guys and it, it was that I'm, i i didn't have a problem with the story being told or in my but hence i watched it and i appreciate it for what it is because at the end of the day as an actor or whatever you need to what you need to have a moment of what suspend suspend disbelief. disbelief yeah well. Yo, Jeff, in as much as you are watching it, <laughs> you Jeff, to, yo, 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 it yo, was, yo, it was yo, deep yo. and personal. It was deep and personal because it was our culture that was put out there. And in Lela, that it, it, it was put out there, kind of, mm. made it seem as if, oh, this is what closer people are doing. Yeah, no, I found it very... Offensive. Derogatory. Ooh, yes. Bombastic words. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> because <laughs> um I will don't call him to this so He's a nurse. Because listen bro, na as a kid, any kid that grew up in Eastern Cape, they've always wanted to know what happens in the mountain. But also was. You would never you know. Never know. The hence I'm saying what talk, happens in Vegas stays in you Vegas. You will talk to your uncle do you know what, what he's gonna say? Go to, actually go do this and this and this, and then come back to me. I'll tell you. And then you get manipulated, mm. but you're never gonna know. Do you until know you go. Until you go. We was bonella. Do you know what happened? Do you know? I don't want to use the white card because even if he was a black person, I would still be mad. What they did is, it's like oh, okay, we know that this is something that everybody's curious to know. What happens in there? Mm. 
And what I'm going to do in order for me to make the money, I'm going to tell them exactly what happens. And I'm going to get eyes. It's guaranteed that people are going to watch this because this is something that everybody's dying to know. I don't give a fuck if he was in a gay context, a straight man context. That is a subject matter that you do not touch. That's personally But yeah, yeah, story mm. Gaban, Uban, the, 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 the musician. Unakane. Had, Unakane. Unakane, the, yeah. That was his basically in, in his life thing because yeah, it's a story like Yeah, yeah. But I still don't care if Bob does So it was Gaban. it was it was basically his journey on oh, no. in, in the Sasi Buga Gulanoga it was his journey when he came out with familiar how he was treated in Dabene or how he was so basically that was his story. you know what you could have done I, mean, I always say every filmmaker that wants to talk about in i'm not saying Obana, we should not talk about it or we should not show it on tv and films but so sisa in dabin in the mountain don't mm, take, take us, us to the there. mountain because, because what you the role is in Dabin, women do not go to the mountain so they don't know nothing about if it. if they bringing food they stay like kilometers away mm. they don't go there but when you take your cameras and then you put that shit in a movie now everybody has access to the mountain mm. So True. how about our culture now? Now, now we are fucked because yeah. you know if I go, if if we meet tomorrow and then I say I went to the mountain, we're the same because you also went because you saw that shit on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, even it's even even thing, the bro. men that have went to the mountain, we don't even fucking use cell phones in there because what happens in there needs to Is stay there. there. Also, you point. guys don't even tell people who you've been homies with for the days. No, oh. that's something I noticed. That's what? why homie won't tell his little cousin. You know, just be like, no, no, no. Nobody should know. If you don't go, you're never going to know. I know closer guys whose grandfathers were like, you're not going to the mountain, and they have never known, they'll never know. Their cousins will not tell them nothing. But now everybody knows. I know, I said, but how I said, it's like how it's done now. Like different places, they allow cell phones. I've heard, I know, I'm going to phone, wherever, whatever. have been seeing that. Yeah, I understand. Which is like you also see, now taking pictures. Yes. Or, or, so I mean, now, like, like for me, what does Yahweh is saying? It's true, and it's not supposed to be happening like that. But the thing is, even closer people don't respect it either way, mm. because why are they taking cell phones when as no central when nankumkulu awoluka? He went to the mountain. Yeah, I understand. It's things that also us as closer people because we say look is slubi. His thing is still sacred. It's to be said. We understand. No, but when when you learn to hear, no, yeah, yeah, it's to be. It's to go to the mashobi. It's actual names. Now, be sure you'll find that they only take videos. I'm kidding. Yeah, understand. And they don't even get so close to Abakwet. It's always just there. We understand. And it, I'm I'm a close. Most of the things they are out there. We understand, which is why I feel like even closer people need to take land. Same thing, they mm. need to take the action and say, Lendo Lena say, Fisha, I and Zeke, Mna Ephemelinia, Mums again. I tattoo and do a look. You call me Gianis by Enus or Puma. We understand, I tattoo or tattoo alone. They they tell you, Yachanepo, Malone, to Buffonu Tetis can see in the I understand. So we, 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 it's, it's sort of Lendo. Going back to what you just said now, Wuti, the difference between Amatlubi and Amatosa, Labo. For instance, okay, Nungkosa, Okulele, Elokshi, Nakasi, Anton. Um, when you need Jansi, we have figured Kas. Yes, we have to say, Okwindi is ban. In the next ban, Sitlala, according to your rankings, what are the rankings? Unes Limela is Nag, is Nagananya. Okay. Is Lemela for those who don't know? It's like how many years do you have as a man since you went to the mountain? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So Gutla long ago is Lemela, but okay, yeah, well, it's like levels, and that's in the closer card. I don't know if it's done differently in or mm. any other parts, but where I'm from, Eastern Cape, that's how it's done. But okay, we we sit according to. Our, it's, it's it's sort of like listen to those, 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 you buy in season. Yeah. Like numbers, what, 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 like, yeah, well, to a point where 
you carry that with pride. You are not joined it, Charlie. Can you Okay, if not, it's thought and their size or magiwe. To a point, I've found myself in situations where I remember I was in Tembisa. Mm. The time in like Tembisa, we are out with a friend of mine that are we are We're out. Then um she was a guy, but he was he was a light man, like young boy. He heard it was okay, he did this calls. Mm. And the first thing he thought of, of no jan. So says like CP, so send away in a sim chai when some woman when we can alone of no jana. Come on, what do you take me for? But I was like, okay, my name nigga and I funai. Did what we did, blah sharp. Moments later, because he didn't win, he thought he was gonna win. Because he was off man and life for night, but he didn't get to learn the land. He heard other people were talking. It's close. He went to go do the same thing. Ubo. Mm. Did they not fuck him up? <laughs> 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 they fucked him up <laughs> to a point where yeah, well, it goes. Back but to like my 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 as a stony as a stony pity in a call. But for you want to put it out there, bah. I can prove it. No, my, 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 my thing is, ne? From, from a filmmaker's perspective, I feel like there's many ways that thing could have been you know, portrayed. There's many, because I feel like they were also looking for a harsh environment, an environment of you know, only man, testosterone. I feel like they could have set the film in an army. Mm. We've, we, I mean, mm. we, we are not really exposed to SANTF, for example, what really happens in the camp, if they are in Limpompo in the border, what really happens there? I've never been there, I've never heard, and how, how long do you stay in that camp? Mm. How is the training there? Because all I know, those guys that fall in love with neighbor and they slept together, it could have been in an army camp. Exactly. So they could have done it anyway, and and the story would have the continued. They, did it. they didn't have to go to that route. Mm. Yes, close. But I think the way they did it, it did benefit them in terms of numbers mm. and in terms of people that were gonna watch. So they d- it was a lucrative way of mm. doing it. It's like telling a story. Zulus are going to be pissed off. Oh, yeah. And they're going to watch it. Zulu, 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 people are proud of the, Zulu people are proud of their language, number one. Yeah. yeah. language. You, you, <laughs> you cannot mess up the language. It's Zulu. Zulu people will let you know. Yeah. Yeah. We are spared. Are spared. <laughs> so shy. 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 This is really, this episode really encapsulates the name It's Not Common Sense. (laughs) (laughs) That's a very catchy name. That's a catchy one. And I'm so grateful to have all of you on my screen. I'm happy to be here. I I feel like, by the way, this is my first podcast, man. Yeah. Oh, shut up. I could do this again, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now you must definitely come back. We need to do this again. Yeah, when you, just hit me up. I'll be there. I love talking. No, see, 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 bonga, but for you to invite, uh, I, I'd like to share information in our neighbor. Go if you allow me. To a bapa, lim champi a bapa la basa fufu sa, a bapa lim champi a basa kula ngali la tize. So, as a writer, mom pali specifically as a scriptwriter or a screenwriter, as cartoonist ni ingi, magu ngutu funa wish develop scripti sa kono mufunu wish siyo shoot. I was ngutu zushona pi. Most of the people who are in Abaza. Ama actors, bana ma agencies, bana ma talent management. Ama writers, Gunzi, ma Gutu Ube, no representation as a writer. Yes, there is a writer's guild of South Africa. Go to Gunzi, ma wasn't scared to go to Mishapo Helemakai. So, Gumunto Heli Lukri. So, the advice then, and Oma, this information, I'm seeing Zumunto Helemakaya, no Heli Lukri, no Guti. Before Ubuga is scripted, Sako, no ma into Ipalile. Iba na information ni ngo ngi treatment wa synopsis. Mu mu submit a script kuma executive producers or kuma production houses. Abafuni the actual script. They they don't care about the actual script. Yeah. They want your synopsis. They want your treatment. So muntu mm. kile lokshini no kile makaya agaguazi loko. Balegi lugoti ufundu uti i yini synopsis wazi lapilok na inyako. 
as an actor uhamba ne monologue yakhe monologue yakho ithi o emblem ithi o anthem uyayicuna as a writer kubalekile ukuthi wazi lock line yakho uma kuthi uhlangana nomuntu umhlabe o producer to an elevator pitch lo muntu lo so kubalekile ukuthi uyazi i lock line yakho because i monologue yakho ezumbali another thing is umbali toilet representation mhlambe ku writers guild of south africa and no kunyeke bafundeka babhali funda kakhulu Yes funda kakhulu kuzo zokwazi ukubhala kancono leo information encane ngacaba ngokuthi ngamsizi umbhalo ohlele makhaya nongazi uthi angashona phi ukuthi ayiqhubekalize nekhono lakhe lokuba umbhali and to, yeah. to interject this you know what like that writer could have a, a, a change a game changing idea, idea yeah. but they don't know how to execute sure. it so yeah. It, yeah it's also very important to know the hows of yeah. accessing the industry and what not so that you don't sit with your idea maybe we are where we are and we need your idea to take us to to the next level so that's very important thank you thank, thank you james thank you james thank you james thank you it's not common like, sense like comment and subscribe